hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be doing a makeup video but i'm going to be trying out some new pigments and um highlighters the pigments i'm going to be using are from t glitz boutique okay they come in these cute little bags like this and then i also got some lashes as well which i will use for this makeup look um, so I'm not actually quite sure what look I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna show you the pigments But I bought this blue one I can't wait to use this and Then I also got it's like a I don't know how to explain this. It's like a, a mauve kind of color. Okay I'm not even quite sure how to apply these pigments like I guess we'll find out <laughs> um, And I've got like this sage green the light is not really working out here. I've got this sage green. This is like a dark brown, chocolatey kind of looking thing. I can't remember the names of these, so I'm just gonna put them in the description box. And then I got this. This I actually wanted as a highlighter. I think this is honeycomb, if I'm correct. Um, I'll link it in the bottom, okay? So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. So I think I'm just gonna go straight into it because I just wanna look cute, like, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so I think, I think I'm gonna use this dark brown pigment, okay. So yeah, I haven't done many dark eyeshadow looks on my channel, so I think I'm gonna do one today because I fancy a bit of a change. This is what this dark brown pigment looks like. I'm just gonna swatch it. So it's just like a dark, shimmery brown not quite sure how i'm gonna use this yet so let's find out or should i use the green or should i use both so that's the green one i think i'm gonna use both of these in what look i don't know but i will be using both of them okay i'm going to use my p louise base in shade four to prime my eyelids you know you got to have a nice base when you do eyeshadow because if your base is crap, then everything else is going to be crap. So, okay. nice even base. I'm going to take this green shade here. I'm going to put that all in my crease. I'm not even going to front, I wasn't expecting it to be this green. I look real crazy right about now, okay? But it's okay. Next, I'm gonna take this orange shade right here, okay? I'm still using the same brush that I used before. I'm gonna deepen my crease with this dark brown shade. If this fails, oh my gosh. Okay. So I think I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna use my P. Louise Acid Rain Blank Canvas to cut my crease. I have no idea how well this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna go for it. So, that green shade I'm just gonna use what's in the lid I'm just gonna take a clean flat brush and pick it up I'm gonna pat that onto where I've just cut my crease so I think I'm gonna take this color here it's not quite a black it's more like a dark I call it like a dark brown okay and I'm gonna use this to ombre out the end of this. Like, this glitter is gorgeous. Like, it's green, but it looks like, it's kinda like holographic. Like, I'm seeing yellow at the same time. Like, no way. So I really, really still want to use this brown shimmer. 
So I'm actually gonna put this brown shimmer at the end. I have no idea how this is gonna look, but I'm just trying it out, okay? Don't shoot me. <laughs> gonna take this one. I'm gonna use the same flat brush, flat brush, and just pick up a little bit of it, okay? Not much. <laughs> I'm screwed! Okay. Oh no, she didn't. Eyeliner. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Revolution Pro Liquid Black Eyeliner, the Supreme Dip Liner, and I'm just gonna use this to draw a winged liner. I'm gonna stop playing with my eyeliner because this is probably the best I'm gonna get it, so yeah. Next, I'm gonna put the Tea Glitz lashes on. These lashes, yeah, 25 millimeters. I've never worn lashes this long. Like, oof, how am I gonna look? I like my lashes to be noticeable, but not like taking up my whole face. So let's see how these look. I can't motherfucking see. But damn, I actually feel like I'm gonna fly away. Like, how, how do you people wear these? I actually feel like I'm gonna fly away. Anyway, the show must go on. So I'm just gonna put some of my LA Girl Pro Concealer under my eyes because I did drop quite a bit of the brown glitter. I'm just gonna conceal that up real quick. So I've started using a brush to do my foundation. I'm really just trialing it at the moment. I haven't decided if this is what I'm gonna do in the long term because I am the I am a fan of the beauty blender, you know. And I feel like I'm cheating the beauty blender family by using a brush right now. But you have to try new things. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty concealer in 380. You can't even see my eyeliner because these lashes are so long. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in cacao or cocoa. I think it's cocoa. I will say cacao in cocoa. I'm gonna use this to contour my face. I'm also gonna go in with my NARS and I'm just gonna brighten up my under eye, just right there. So I finally got my hands on the Laura Mercier powder. So I'm just gonna use this to set the inner corners of my eyes, because I want that bit to be quite bright. I'm gonna go in with my Sacha Buttercup as per usual. No, is this me? Oh my gosh. Next, I'm gonna bronze my face using my Fenty Beauty. Uh, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Instant Warmth Bronzer in Coco Naughty as per usual. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush, this fluffy brush I have no idea what it's for but I'm gonna use it for bronzing today I'm gonna use my revolution blush in ballerina this is brand new like, I've used like so many new products on my face today and I wasn't even supposed to but <laughs> is what it is to be honest She liked this blush. Oh my gosh. So I bought a blush from um NARS and I liked it, but it had um it was sheer and not matte. Whereas this one it's matte, like it just makes me look rosy and I love it. Then we're just gonna wipe this powder off my face. Oh 
Oh my god! That's me! Yes! Next, I'm just gonna give my under eyes some love. I'm gonna go in with this dark green. Then I'm gonna take this black. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Okay. We, we almost finished. We almost there. I'm going to take my tea glitz, loose glitter in honeycomb i'm pretty sure it's honeycomb and this is what we're going to use to highlight i've heard such good things about this highlighter or like the loose glitters as a highlighter so i'm looking forward to it just gonna tap that off <sighs> i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't expecting it damn shawty i went in with that so heavy-handed let me just Try that again. So, I don't think I'm gonna highlight my whole face with this because it's too, the highlight's just too much. Like, like if I highlight my whole face in this, y'all would go blind. That's how good this highlighter is. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it on my inner corners. These loose glitters did not come to play. They are so pigmented. Like, I was not expecting it. I was not expecting it at all. But I'm not even going to front. Like, the glitter, it's not got like... I don't know how to explain it. You know them things that they put inside of it to kind of like hold the glitter in place? It hasn't got one of those. So it's just kind of like going everywhere. I'm going to take my Barry M Tri-Baked Highlighter in Deco. And I'm gonna use this to highlight my face. This thing is broken. It has been through a lot. It has, look, look at it. It has been dropped. I am covered in glitter. But there's just, ugh, there's just something like the elegance of this highlighter. It's, it's too much, like. You know when your face just looks so good? Like, it just looks so good. Mwah. I'm gonna take my MAC lip liner in cork. This is new, never used it, okay? But we're gonna use it today. I'm gonna use my MAC lipstick in Hug Me, also new. I'm not used to seeing my face with like nude lipsticks. Like I'm so used to um lip glosses that this just looks weird like this is this is out of my comfort zone but it's still cute right i think i'm gonna rock it but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer in the middle So there you have it guys, this beautiful green and brown eyeshadow look using the Tea Glitz Boutique Loose Pigments and these lashes, I look like I'm a fly away but I'm a fly away looking cute, alright? I'm going to link Tea Glitz Boutique in the description box and the stuff that I used from them so you know exactly what to get and where to get it if you want to buy it but I highly recommend that you go and buy it. Please like, comment and subscribe, share this video you know help a girl out i'd appreciate it um stay tuned like i'm gonna have more videos like consistency is key right <laughs>